What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and today I got a game against Ian. Uh, haven't fought Ian in a while, and uh, we were talking on Facebook, and he was like, let's get a game in on a, a good Saturday afternoon, and we did. So, uh, sure enough, uh, he brought out his, his heavily converted Chaos Army against my Orcs and Goblins. We're playing 2,400 points, getting ready for, um, I believe it's Drakstar that's up next. So, um... I'm going to show you what I got, show you what he got, and let's get this game underway. Um, over here is my big bunker unit of Gorbad Iron Claw. That's the boss right there on the right side. Um, he has a 10, I'm oh, sorry, he has an 18-inch Leadership 10 bubble. Um, and then on the left side, I have Lord Paco, which is a Chrono Command, keeping that unit very stubborn. And that whole group of Spider Riders with them, 13 Spider Riders. Um, I'm still trying to finish painting up like the last like four or five left that I have to do right now. Um, over here I have a unit of 24 Savage Orc Biggins um, with uh, Big Stabba and Normal Command. Um, I have two Doom Divers, a Spear Chucker, I have a level 2 Orc Savage Orc Shaman with a Lucky Shrunken Head. I have 20 Night Goblins with Bows and Fanatics. I have Lord Chicken Head. This is... This is really my ace in the hole here. Lord Chickenhead, he is immortal. He just does not want to die. Um, and then I have six trolls. And then all this shit right here is all undead stuff that this man right here could raise up. This is my level four lore of undeath uh, goblin shaman on a wolf. Uh, basically, he could just uh, summon up more units and reinforcements. And then I have the Arachnrock spider. Uh, my opponent, Ian... He brought out uh, the guys on the right side. Those are Seleneshi Steed uh, Hellstriders, I think they're called. And the ones on the left are War Beast Dogs, whatever, the Warhounds. Um, over here, he has a unit of Harpies. He has those giant, like, bronze things. Those are uh, Skull Crushers of Corn on Juggernauts. Or, I think, yeah, I think they're Skull Crushers. This giant behemoth thing in the middle here, that is actually his, uh, his uh, Hell Cannon. <laughs> it's badass. And uh, he doesn't need no dwarves. He got beastmen shooting it. Um, over here, this giant block of lizardmen looking guys. These are his warriors of chaos. Led by, uh, on the left side, that is his uh, general, which is, uh, I believe he has Chrono Command and some other goodies that give him a ward save. And a great weapon, which strength 7, I want to say he is. And then next to him is the Bray Shaman. And the Bray Shaman uh, is level 2. It's his only wizard. Okay, um, over here he has a giant block of trolls with the BSB, and the BSB is basically the guy on the left side. Um, BSB has like a three up ward save with that freaking uh, mark. And then he has two beastman chariots, uh, and then another unit of dogs, and then another unit of hell striders. So he has a lot more units, a lot less heroes. I have a lot more heroes, a lot less units. Uh, we'll see how this is going to go. Uh, he goes ahead and he vanguards his Hell Striders on both sides. And this is basically it. We roll off to see who goes first. And actually, I win the roll off, which is uh, another first in a long time. Um, so uh, we're going to start off Orcs and Goblins, turn one. Um, first of all, I have the Savage Orc Shaman. He got a um, foot of Gork, and I decided to take him out of the group because usually when I have him with the group and he's trying to do foot of Gork, it usually means that he's going to... Uh, just run and die with the rest of the group <laughs> so he stood back he's in the tower just trying to nuke um over here i'm gonna go ahead and try to charge chicken head into the hell striders hell striders decide to flee and he fails his charge um over on this side i just basically move everybody up and uh as you can see uh Gorbat is behind the unit of trolls um which basically he has uh, kind of covering his ass for the minute time being. Uh, Magic Faith's got six power dice, and of course I'm going to go ahead and throw the foot, get the foot off, and he doesn't stop it. I only get the small one off. I believe I try to call up like a unit of uh, something with the other dice, and um, I think I tried to go for Dark Riders, and uh, he stopped it, and then I went for Foot of Gork, and then uh, that went off, but I only went for the small one because I knew I wasn't going to get the 18+. plus. And I got it off, try to hit the freaking chariot here. I hit it, direct hit, does not wound. That's bullshit, man. Bullshit. Um, over here, I have uh, Doom Divers going for the Hell Striders on the right flank. On the right flank is just basically my Doom Diver. 
and uh, chicken head. So not that I'm too worried about the right flank, but at the same time, I just figure if the Doom Driver could protect himself, he could protect himself. Uh, so he shoots, and it uh, drifts off the table, actually. So I can't do anything about that. Over here, the other Doom Driver is going to go for the Juggernauts of Corn here, and they knock off. He knocks off one entire Juggernaut and keeps. Uh, puts one wound on the other guy. Um, over here, all my spider riders are going to shoot with their bows, and they're going to kill off one hell strider on this side. And basically, that was it. That was it for turn one. Uh, not much, because, you know, everybody's just trying to get repositioned. And uh, let's see what he does on his chaos turn one. He's going to move his hell striders right up into the grill of my uh, Savage Orc Shaman's building. Um, over here, he's going to move his hell striders right outside of Chickenhead's range. He knows better. He's fought Chickenhead way too many times. And he knows that chicken head will kick the shit out of those guys. So he moves them over here. He's kind of threatening my Doom Diver and my uh, level 4 Shaman. And he moves his hounds over here 8 inches away from my uh, my goblins. And in the forest and not to top it off. So I'm going to have to make a longer throw to get him outside the forest. So first uh, I put them up like this. I have to nominate the direction that they're going in. And the first two end up hitting each other because they fell short. But the third one went through. And he blows up those dogs, which is just great. And he's also kind of in the way of that, uh, the, the juggernaut. So. Um, and then, as you can see here, he moves his, his uh, hounds right up in the grill of my Arachnorock spider. And I part of me bother th This kind of bothers me about um, chaff units. He's like, I don't know if he's goading me into trying to chase him down. And then he could do something else. Or what? So... I mean, I'm, like, always, like, weary. I mean, it's like the, the, the chess player in me is, like, why did he make that move, you know? Anyways, um, basically, he moves up his other units. And uh, it's going to start off magic phase. Magic phase, he got uh, seven power dice. His Bray Shaman is going to cast something. I dispel it. So it doesn't even matter. And uh, his Hell Cannon is going to shoot and knock over a Beastman right next to him. <laughs> and he's trying to shoot at Gorbad's unit because basically every unit I have on the board doesn't fear shit so he shoots it at Gorbad because Gorbad is the only unit that possibly could fear something it drifts off dramatically and it clips one dude and uh, it doesn't even I don't even think it wounded him I think he he totally lived it <sighs> excuse me um, and then uh, I'm trying to think of what else happened here oh he's trying to sh do shooting shooting his hell striders are gonna go ahead and throw their javelins at the uh, the level four here and they actually put a wound onto him and that's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn two. First off, Gorbat fails Animosity, and he fails it bad, which means he has to charge without even getting the free move. Okay, which means that um, I have to charge, declare a charge in the charge phase. Well, he's like, haha, well, you're stuck behind Gorbat's unit, so or the, behind the trolls, so you really can't do much. Well, I decided I'm going to have them declare a charge onto his general's unit and have the trolls declare a charge onto his general's unit. And they could do that, technically. So, uh, over here, the Ragnarok is going to go ahead and charge into the Hounds. He's going to go ahead and flee, of course. And I'm going to have to redirect. So, I redirect into the Trolls. Man, is hindsight 2020. I would never... You know, like, looking at this again, I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? Not only are they Trolls, but he has the BSB with them, which is just going to be brutal. Um, over here, as you can see, uh, I did... Uh, clip, I clipped in with the trolls and I moved the trolls to the right flank so that basically they give Gorbad enough room to get in and Gorbad's unit gets in as well. So that's going to be nice and lovely. Um, over here I got uh, the Fanatic runs into this little brick. And then over here I try to move Chicken, I turn Chicken Head around so you can kind of get a sur survey of the board and see what, whatever the hell he wants to clip on his own. Uh, just because he's kind of he's kind of messing with Chicken Head. He's, he's, he doesn't want to mess with Chicken Head is the problem. Um, and I also moved the, the Goblin Shaman on a wolf over here, just basically so he can start casting stuff, but he can't really do much. Um, so he's out of danger as well. Um, and then I moved the n Night Goblins over here and moved the Savages up. Savages are look like they're about to just charge into the freaking uh, Juggernauts. And uh, Magic Phase, I got four Power Dice, which is pathetic. And that's part of my problem in this, this whole game today is... I, I needed support from the freaking uh, I need support from the magic and I just it was just not working for me right now um, 
So nothing happened. He dispelled it. I believe I was trying to call up some extra units to help out my Doom Divers on this side. Doom Divers going to go ahead and shoot at the Hell Striders. Um, and basically it drifts off four inches, comes back, kills off three of them. Does not cause a panic check because they're still an SG. Um, they're immune to psychology and shit like that. This one's shooting at, I believe, that chariot that's staring at Gorbad. And it drifts off like ten inches this way. And I really couldn't do much to get it back in. Excuse me, keep yawning. Um, the Ragnarok over here, he ends up uh, going first. And you know what I try to do? I try to do all my attacks into the BSB. Fuck the trolls. I know the trolls have a 4-up region. I know I'm not going to do much with that, again, with the with the Ragnarok onto them. And I can't thunder stomp them or anything like that. So I'm trying to get my poison draw. I'm trying to get everything into that BSB. And I'm hoping to God that not only does it get through the armor, get through the ward, that it'll just kill him, right? So I go ahead and I do it, and he wards saves every single one of them. And then he goes ahead and he hits with the BSB, he hits with the trolls, everything. He does six wounds. Holy shit, that Ragnarok has one more attempt at that before he dies. That's rough. Um, he challenges my champion, or he challenges Gorbad with my champion, and Gorbad throws out one of the Spider Riders to accept. So the Spider Rider is going to fight this warrior, and he ends up dying and gets two wounds. Um, and again, you know what? Hindsight's kind of twenty twenty on this one. I probably could have just accepted with Gorbag, chumped that guy up, got a shit ton of wounds for the combat resolution because of uh, Gorbad's multiplying wounds. But whatever. Gorbad's going to go ahead and attack first. He kills off three guys. Then his Bray Shaman, I believe, is the next fastest one. He ends up killing off one Spider Rider. The Warriors go next. Warriors kill off, like, two more Spider Riders. All right. Then my Spiders go... And my spider ends up killing off, or doing one wound onto the Bray Shaman. The trolls go, and holy shit, the trolls killed off like 10 or 12 guys. He They fucked them up, the trolls. And uh, basically his unit is dying. My guys are pretty healthy. It's looking good. Orcs and goblins are fucking up his general's unit. His general's going to go. His general's strength 7. Strength 7. And... Uh, he has a great weapon. I believe Paco went first, to be honest. And Paco puts one wound onto him. He goes ahead and hits the unit. He kills off, like, three more guys. And uh, so I win combat resolution by, like, ridiculous amounts of, of numbers. But, but, he is stubborn. And it causes him to stick. And that's bullshit, man. I can't do anything about it. Um, and it's going to go ahead and start off Chaos Turn 2. Chaos Turn 2. He's going to do a lot of charges here. He's going to do the Harpies into my Doom Diver, which sucks. Um, he's going to do his hell, his hell cannon. The hell cannon is charging in to my trolls. And the juggernauts are charging into the side flank of the trolls. I thought the juggernauts for sure were going to go for the, the savages. I'm thinking the savages got this. They're going to, like, fuck somebody up. And uh, sure enough, he's going to charge his uh, chariots in. One into Gorbad's unit, one into this Ragnarok. And uh, he gets in everywhere. Everywhere it connects. He also charged in these hell striders into my level 2 uh, nuker here. And everybody gets in. Like I said, the Harpies are in. The Hellstriders over here are moving closer to the Spear Chucker. And uh, Magic Phase. Magic Phase, he gets nine power dice. Does absolutely nothing. I shut him down. He's going to go ahead and use his Harpies here to attack my Doom Diver. And he just takes him out. And check this one out, man. You see my Doom Diver with the red wings? He was like, dude, I'm one of you guys. You guys have red wings? I have red wings. Let's go. So, bam. Now they have a sixth man in their unit. What the hell, man? This is the second time my Doom Divers are just betraying me. Fucking Doom Divers, man. I can't trust any of these goblins. God, that's why I need like an orc bully there just to be like, Pah! what are you doing? So I got a traitorous, treacherous goblin in there. Um, the Hell Striders over here, they're going to go ahead and attack my uh, Savage Orc Shaman. They cannot wound him with his Toughness 5. He ends up pushing him back, basically. And he stays in his building, his tower. Uh, the chariot here, man, it gets six on the impact hits and does all the impact hits. And it's just like, I can't do a goddamn thing about it. He's just going to kill me. He ends up uh, wounding him, wounding one out of the six. And then I believe somebody else goes first. And he ends up, I think the pigs might have gone. I don't remember who went. But one of them went first and they end up killing the rack. Oh, no, 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 no. I went for all my attacks on the BSB again first. And I threw all eight on them. Hoping that I could get the poison draw off. Got the poison draw off. It, it's supposed to multiply, but I'm waiting for him to do the ward save. And he ward saves everything. And he just kills the Arachnorok. That's... Ugh. My heart is still hurting from that one, man. Uh, his impact hits over here. He ends up killing off like four of my spider riders. 
Um, he challenges with my Bray Shaman, or his Bray Shaman, and I accept with Paco, and I will get to that in a minute. Uh, Gorbat ends up killing off uh, most of the unit. I believe the champion is still alive in that unit. And, um, yeah, he is. And then his uh, Skull Crushers go. And I did not know this. This is the one that really hurt me. His Skull Crushers, they have the Flaming Banner. Oh, man, does that hurt. Does that hurt. He ends up killing off, like, just the Skull Crushers alone end up killing off, uh, do five wounds out to the trolls. Then, um... His hell pit's gonna go, and his hell pit does another uh, three wounds onto the trolls. Then his chariot guys go, and his chariot guys end up killing off um, a couple more of my spider riders. The trolls go, the trolls end up uh, killing off. The, well, I had to split up the attacks on the trolls because, as you can see, they're all kind of like everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, um, I want to puke. I want to puke on the guy on the right, to be honest. I mean, I can't all do it on the guys on the right. So. Uh, the one in the left is going to puke on the champion. The one in the middle is going to puke on the hell, or hell cannon, and the one on the right is going to puke on the juggernauts. Um, so sure enough, I go ahead and I puke, and I only kill off the guy on the juggernaut. I can't touch the hell cannon. It was like a tough five or tough six or some shit, and it just didn't do anything. And the other guy lived because I rolled a one. What the fuck? Um, sure enough, uh, you can see all the casualties. He ends up really fucking me up. I end up killing off his Bray Shaman with uh, Paco. And his general goes. General's like the last guy to go because he has a great weapon. He ends up putting all his attacks onto Gorbad. And strength seven, Gorbad can't stop that, man. He's dead. He killed Gorbad. Man, does this hurt. I, I, I had a very good start right there. I was just like, I was going in. I was like, balls to the wall. Let's fuck up his general's unit. And if they fuck him up, we have the savages coming up to mop up the juggernauts. No, he stood there, he was stubborn, he knew what he was doing, and he set me up, and he got the freaking flaming attacks on my trolls, and he just destroyed my units, killed my general, Paco's still alive though, Paco was stubborn, I'm losing combat resolution, and everybody, or I'm sorry, uh, Paco's unit's the only one that stays, his hell pit and his juggernaut are gonna go ahead and chase the trolls, and the they run, overrun into the night goblins, as you can see here, um, orcs and goblins, turn three, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to charge chicken head into the harpies and the trader. And uh, I know it looks like I can't really see them, but I have a laser pointer showing me that, like, am the line of sight thing, that uh, the arc, to see that I can see them. And he charges in, gets in right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my level four closer to the action. Magic physics at six power dice. And he stops me again. Holy shit. I mean, like, I, actually, I don't think he stopped me. I think I just failed my roll miserably. And I was like, well. That was that. Can't do much else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my Doom Diver into, I believe, the Chariot here. Or, I believe so. And uh, it just fails miserably. Going to go into close combat. Chicken Head goes ahead and attacks these Harpies with the Traitor. He wants to kill that fucking Traitor. And what does he do? Well, first of all, they attack him and he ward saves three wards right there. Or three armor saves. And then he's going to go ahead and attack. And he hits the Mighty Hammer into the freaking Traitor's head. Kills him outright and knocks down two other harpies in the meantime. They're going to panic and flee, and sure enough, he chases them off the board. And now Chickenhead is not on the board for a single turn. Um, the <laughs> Juggernaut here just starts killing off all the goblins. He ends up, uh, or the Skull Crusher kills two, the Juggernaut kills two more. I don't even think he stomped. Um, I am steadfast, though, and sure enough, uh, they're going to run anyways because they're, <laughs> they're fucking goblins, man. What else are they going to do? They, of course they're going to run. He's going to try to overrun to get out of the way of the savages, I believe. His general here goes ahead and challenges Paco. Paco accepts the challenge. And uh, Paco, I believe, put a wound on. I, I thought he had a wound on already, though. So he might have had two wounds. But regardless, it's not enough to kill him. He kills Paco. He had a shit ton of attacks. I forgot what he got. He got, like, the Eye of the Gods or something for challenges. And uh, over here, these guys just go ahead and kill off the rest of the Spider Riders. I pretty much call the game there. I was like, I lost the, the Ragnarok, I lost Gorbat, I lost Gorbat, I lost the Trolls. All I have left is a giant block of Savages, and you have... I mean, he has a lot of weakened units, but the Savages versus just the Trolls themselves, it's going to be... I mean, this is like turn three or four, and he's just going to fuck me up. You know what I mean? Um, I could... I mean... Uh, yeah. You know, looking at this picture right here at the end of the game, I mean... I had an opportunity. I could have possibly done some some damage to him, 
I could have called up some hex rates and the hex rates could have no actually even if I called up the hex rates it didn't matter the, on the trolls because the, the um, his BSB has a magic weapon and he would just kill the hex rates out right um, but I could have called up some extra units to try to kill off his general's unit or kill off all those guys who are just like down to one unit left one person left in the unit I mean the, the skull crusher only has one guy left the hell striders there i mean they're like three and four and they're kind of weak to be honest i mean if i could have called up anybody just to kind of kill off their units um i do have one doom diver left i do have the level four left and i do have the block of savages left and i mean he, i have two wizards where he has none that i could have used to my advantage but i call it here man it was the end of the game um i believe i have a game with todd coming up right now actually um this game right here me and ian talked and this probably one of the last times you see me use this exact list and i decided to i might have done it one more game against todd but um i i decided to change out like i, I don't want the level four to be the undead guy anymore i think i'm just gonna switch him out to a level two and then move level four back into the to the the big wog because that's the way i play man i play with the big wog um see more foot action because the foot likes to piss people off and and you see them like thinking it's super unfair and at the same time I think it's a good equalizer for the orcs and goblins um, as for the MVP does anybody really deserve the MVP in this game I have I mean Savage has never got into action Chickenhead was chasing around people for three turns Gorbad you know he didn't really do his leadership bubble the way he was supposed to the spider riders kinda got chumped Paco did an okay job um, gonna have to give it to chicken head because he's the only one who killed an actual unit in this game <laughs> i like the trolls the trolls actually did a good job taking out just a shit ton of warriors but they got their asses chumped uh i think the trolls actually did more damage than anybody else uh yeah i mean the ragnarok failed me by not being able to kill his bsb i wounded him like six or seven times he just had a shit ton of ward saves because he has a three of ward uh so i'm gonna go ahead and give it to like chicken head and the trolls i'm gonna share it with them because they both equally killed something period in the game um actually the doom diver is pretty good too but uh yeah i'll give it to the trolls um and chicken head of course chicken head chicken head has favoritism awards here anyways guys i hope you like this video um i know it was a, a slaughter for the orcs and goblins in this game uh and i would love to uh get a rematch uh actually me and ian did get a couple rematches in uh i said that i'm going to change up my list just a little bit to see uh what else i could play with you know uh maybe just make a biggin army just for gorbad's use of uh bringing all biggins to the table and see how that goes anyways guys till the next video i'll see you and um hopefully i could pump out another video today or tomorrow because i have uh another dice dojo tournament coming up and that's going to be another three rounds and i have like another four more videos to make i gotta i gotta pump them out guys all right take care until next time peace